Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be uh, showing a, I'm going to be testing a uh, unit composition matchup that uh, some of you may saw, may have seen earlier in the week in the game uh, where Slam was playing as Persia and he was going up against Nikov as Japanese. So joining me today will be Darboy, and he's going to be helping me uh, just kind of show exactly what happened there. So first off, let's. Uh, we're going to take the Paladins and the Hand Cannoneers from Persia and have them go against the Arbalists and Helps uh, from the Japanese player, which is Darvoy here. Um, the other thing that you have to notice in the game, uh, the live game that happened was uh, Nikov also had a couple monks uh, in the mix as well. So we want to keep those in there as well. As you can see here, Darvoy is being a little bit of a show off with his little Arbalist patrol. But there are 40 Arbalists there. so. I uh, just want you guys to let you know there's 40 Arbalists, 25 Halbs, um, 21 Paladins, and 23 Hand Cannoneers. And I think that's pretty close to the number that was used uh, for those guys in the game. So anyways, right now we're going to just do pretty much a straight up matchup. Um, the, uh, Slam did have the hill in the game, so we're going to first start uh, with the hill advantage. So anyways, yeah, let's let's try it the first time. So here we go. You ready? Yeah. All right, so... Here we go. We got the Paladins coming in. So Slam was kind of upset after the game. He thought that his composition should have easily won this. And as you can see, it's actually kind of surprising. You might expect that the Helms would do quick work of the, or you might expect that the Paladins hand cannon combo would deal with the Helms rather quickly. But what's surprising is the combination of monks here and getting the conversions on some of the um, uh, paladin on the front actually makes it a lot more difficult to get through the Halberd deer. And one of the reasons why that might be the case is that if he does convert some of these paladins on the front, the hand cannoneers are now f shooting at the paladins rather than the halberd deers, and that's giving the halberd deers that survive more cha uh, a greater chance to do more damage to the other. Um, other paladins that are remaining. So as you can see here, um, uh, as the Persian player, I was able to deal with the helms, but at the cost of basically my whole army. So, and that's kind of what we saw with um, Slam's game. Obviously, when Slam was in this position, he pulled back with the hand cannoneers before he lost them, but he lost all pretty much all of the paladin. So, yeah. So, anyways, we're gonna try again. Did by, by the way, did any of your arbalists even get hurt, really, or no? They were also HP. Okay. All right, so just I guess remake the helms and then can the monks, and let's look at um, a different situation. So again, we're gonna try this again, but this time we're not gonna have the monks in uh, in the mix. And we tried this before, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a spoiler. Um, what uh, my composition does quite a bit better when the monks aren't in there, but uh. I think sometimes the helps and hand cannoneers still mix. So anyways, yeah, Slam was saying in, in the game that he thought that it was because of HD's pathing that uh, he lost the fight. Um, one thing that we just did in the fight here that we didn't include in the video uh, that or that wasn't very similar to the way Slam and Nikov engaged was Slam actually had some paladins that were running around and were running back when, uh, when he was engaging with the rest of them. So I think that last fight was even a little bit more in favor of me i mean like it was uh the the micro was a bit better for me than it was in the actual situation but anyway so here we have the same thing 25 helps 40 arbalists against 23 hand cannoneers and 21 um paladins so anyways here we're gonna go again ready yep all right so we're gonna try again this time you can see that there are no monks involved And now you can see that I clearly have a lot more Paladin left. And at this point, it's difficult. Um, you can micro back and kill these Paladins, but they uh, are actually getting cleaned up pretty quick. So it's actually quite amazing how how like beneficial just having five monks in a fight like this can be. I mean, if you guys saw a big difference in the, the two fights in this video, 
I mean, let me know, but I, I honestly didn't see much of a difference between the two fights. All The only difference I saw in these two fights was that in the first fight, um, Darvoy um, had the monks, and the second fight he didn't. And I'm just saying that I think that um, sl what Slam might have been thinking about when he saw the unit comp was, you know, yeah, clearly Hand Cannoneers and Paladin is probably the better comp, but just those couple of monks that Nikov had mixed in and converting uh, the Paladins of Slams, I think made a really big difference in the outcome of that fight. Uh, I also looked at the fight and it looked like the pathing was a little bit like kind of buggy, but I think it was buggy on both sides, not only from the Paladins, but also the Halberdiers. So anyways, I just wanted to um, just test this out and try to, um, I don't know, provide some more like, provide some insight on the the matter so anyways if you guys uh enjoyed watching the video then just uh uh like the video and leave a comment or something like that and um yeah and if you saw anything wrong with the video i'm gonna link the actual like clip from the game so you guys can check it out yourself to make sure everything was done kind of kind of right right um but yeah so anyways thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye